I made up the original touch templates just to be a simple pocket gu size guide to remind myself and everybody else about touch targets and add a few extra useful features that might be good for designing touch interfaces and readable stuff on your phone. And over time I've improved it, adding extra features as I learn them. I'm starting to give a little few guidelines about why they're important based on what I've learned. And now I've improved it again, removing things that are confusing or unnecessary and adding in extra bits and pieces. And they're all based on the 10 points that I've started to uh, solidify about the research we know, that people hold their devices in different ways and switch a lot. And I don't give you the little charts, but there's a little reminder of them right up here. Most importantly, almost, that people prefer to touch and read in the center of the screen. That you need to make touch targets big enough to see around your fingers. That you adjust type sizes based on the device class. And there's a little convenient type measuring tool over here. You line this up with the text you want to read. And then you can, as long as it lines up perfectly, you measure it. And you know that this stuff is between about 7 and 8 points. But it also has these little diagrams here telling you that small phones can take 2.5 point type. And big tablets can take up, need up to 10 point. It reminds you that touch is imprecise. You need to design for error and accuracy. That accuracy varies by position on the screen, which is what the main point of the template really is, these touch accuracy zone charts. So I mentioned touch accuracy before, but this tells you that people are most accurate in the center, less accurate as they get towards the edges, and just horrible around the sides. So, you, so if you're just measuring something on your phone, in the corner, use one of these corner charts and go, hmm, those look pretty well spaced out. But in the, ce and in the center, use this little center diagram there. Put it over that and realize that's pretty small, but people can actually read and tap on small areas. Of course, don't forget to allow people to get their finger around things. Not sure that's still very useful. Remember, people only touch what they think is clickable, so make sure your touch targets are visible and obvious. Leave room for cases and bezels. This is one of the new things I've added for you. There's a little safe area hashed out here based around the touch accuracy sizes that you have over here. Now you can hold this up and figure out if people can absolutely touch the edges of the screen depending on what kind of case is around the thing. And lastly, use tools like this to design at scale. Don't just stay inside PowerPoint or Photoshop, but go ahead and measure directly on the screen and see how big things are using the various tools I just showed you and the rulers along the edge.